Yeah, here we have a question. Three resistors, 10 ohms, 20 ohms, 30 ohms are connected in series and parallel. Find the resultant resistance in the circuit. Yeah, there we have three resistors of 10 ohms, 20 ohms, 30 ohms. Let me write it. Let the first resistor will be generated as a R1 is equal to resistor 1 is equal to 10 ohms. Next, the second resistor R2, we will name it as a R2 that is equal to 20 ohms. R3, the third resistor is equal to, it was given like 30 ohms. Now, I am going to find the effective resistance of series combination. For series combination, we have formula R is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. Then by substituting the values in this, R1 as a 10 ohms plus 20 plus 30. Therefore, R is equal to 20 plus 10, 30, 30 plus 30, 60 ohms. Therefore, the final resistance, the resultant resistance the resultant resistance in series combination equal to 60 ohms. Now, we will do the same resistors with parallel combination. We got the point, I think so. Now, here we go, the question, the same resistors R1 and R2 and R3 we have, we have to connect the resistors in parallel combination. The effective resistance for parallel combination is equal to 1 by R is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. Here we have first resistance as a 1 by 10 plus 1 by 20 plus 1 by 30. That is equal to, the, by doing LCM for all these, we will get it as a 60. In 10 table 6 will go. Uh, we got LCM as a 60 in 10 table in 60 will come in 6 times then 1 6 are 6 plus in 20 table it will get in 3 times in 30 table 2 times the total it will become as 3 plus 6 9 9 plus 2 11 by 60 therefore ultimately we got 1 by R is equal to 11 by 60 but we need the value of R by doing reciprocal this we will get R is equal to 60 by 11 here we have example 2 That example two is that three resistors R1 ohms, 4 ohms and 8 ohms are connected in series in a circuit. If the resultant resistance in the circuit is 20 ohms, find the value of R1. You can see that it was given that three resistors R1 ohms, 4 ohms and 8 ohms. And the effective resistance when they are connected in series combination also it is given that 20 ohms 
we need to find the R1 resistance. For that, we have to use the, how the resistors are connected in. They are connected in series combination. We will go through effective resistance for series combination. The formula is R is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. That is equal to, in the place of R1, I am writing as it is R1 only. In the place of R2, I am writing it as a 4 ohms. In the place of R3, I am writing it as a 8 ohms. Then the effective resistance it will be R1 plus 12. The effective resistance, how much it was given? It is given the 20 ohms. In the place of R, I am substituting 20. That is equal to R1 plus 12. Since effective resistance is equal to 20 ohms. Let me simplify it. We will make R1 as a subject here. Then this will come this side. 20 minus 12 is equal to R1. It will use us. 8 is equal to R1. Ultimately, we can write as R1. The resistor 1 is equal to 8 ohms. In this manner, we can find the un unknown resistance. Right. Here we go for example Yeah, here we go for example 3. Example 3 is 2 resistors R1 ohms and 12 ohms are connected in parallel in a circuit. If the resultant resistance in the circuit is 3 ohms, find the value of R1. Here you can observe there are 2 resistors. One is R ohms, the other is 12 ohms. The effective resistance of the resistors in connecting parallel combination is 3 ohms. It is given here. We need to find the R1 resistor, the resistance of R1 resistor. Then how the resistors are connected in? They are connected in parallel combination. Then we will we'll write as a Two resistors are there now. R1 is equal to, I am writing it as a R1 only, R1 ohms only. The second resistor, R2, what is given there? It is 12 ohms. Now, how they are connected in? They are connected in parallel combination. Let me write the parallel combination formula for resistors. 1 by R is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. Then let me substitute these values in 1 by R. What is the effective resistance he gave? He also mentioned that one of the effective resistance of parallel combination. How much he gave? He gave it as a 3 ohms. This is effective resistance. Then let me substitute these values in this. One by in the place of R1, I am writing R1 only. Why? Because we don't know that value, we need to find. In the place of R2, let me substitute it as a 1 by 12. How much effective resistance it was given there? I am writing it as a 1 by 3. Since, let me mention that one. Our effective resistance is equal to 3 ohms. Next, we need to find the value of 1 by R1. Then I am making getting sub I'm making subject as this one I'm getting this one to this type then 1 by 3 minus 1 by 12 is equal to 1 by r1 here we need to do some LCM what is the LCM for 3 and 12 we will get it as a 12 in 3 table, 12 will go for 4 times, 4 ones are 4 minus, in 12 table, 1 time minus 1, that is equal to 1 by R1. We can write it as a 4 minus 1, 3 by 12 is equal to 1 by 
R1. Yeah, here we got the value of 1 by R1, but we need the value of R1 resistor. Then by doing reciprocal, what we can get? 12 by 3 is equal to R1. By 1 it will be, but R1 by 1 we can return as a R1 only. That means we got as a 12 by 3 is equal to R1. 3 ones are, 3 fours are. Then 4 ohms is equal to R1. We can return as a there 4. R1 resistor 1 is equal to 4 ohms. By this, in this way we can find the unknown resistors when they are connected in parallel combination. Yeah, here we have example 4. Good read example 4. Observe the given circuit. Observe this given circuit and calculate the resultant resistance. Yeah, if we observe this circuit, there we have three resistors. One is 4 ohms resistor, 12 ohms resistor and 7 ohms resistor. If we observe these two resistors, this one and this one, they are in parallel combination. These two resistors are in parallel combination. If you find the parallel refractive resultant con resistance for these two resistors, then after finding that one, we will calculate total resultant resistance along with the 7 ohms. First of all, we will do the parallel combination for this part then what is the resultant resistance for these two resistors the what is the formula we need to use for resistors which are in parallel combination that is 1 by r is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 i am using here here what is r1 first resistance let me think it as a r1 is equal to 4 ohms R2 is equal to 12 ohms. We will substitute these values in this. 1 by R1 means 4. R2 means 12. The LCM for 4 and 12 is 12. In 4 table 12 you will get for 3 times. In 12 table 12 you get 1 time. Then that is equal to 4 by 12 we got 4 by 12 4 by 12 is nothing but 1 by r is equal to 4 by 12 but previously i told you we need to find the value of r for that we have to do reciprocal this one then r is equal to 12 by 4 4 ones are 4 threes are then we got the final value R effective resistance for this parallel combination is equal to 3 ohms. If you go through diagram once again, what about the resistance for this part? We got as a 3 ohms. Let me redraw the diagram. Then I am writing this com by combining these two resistors as a one resistor as like this. Then afterwards we have one more resistor as a 7 ohms. This is 7 ohms resistor taken from here this is the effective resistance how much we got we got it as a 3 ohms let me draw the remaining diagram as it is now we got the diagram like this that means now the two resistors we got these two resistors are in series combination then what is the formula we have to use for series combination That is R is equal to R1 plus R2. That we think that this is R1 and it is R2. Then by substituting in this formula 3 plus 7 that is equal to 10 ohms. But what, we, what I can conclude by all this, the circuit whatever we got here, 
the total resistance in the circuit it will be 10 ohms that is resultant resistance